Trouble with unicorns. Do you know in the world some people don't believe in magic, like a little old man or a know-it-all teenager? In this story, it is a little old man that lives on the top of a hill by, all by himself. His name is Mr. Castor. The legendary creature he didn't believe in was the unicorn. He had been out in the woods more than a few times and had never seen one, but I think he should have believed because the woods he lived by were... Infested with unicorns, Mr. Castor hadn't believed in the creatures for a long time, but on this day the world would prove him wrong. On the first day of spring, a unicorn came into his yard to nibble on the freshly bloomed buds. The unicorn was a lovely creamy white with a blue tail and mane. Mr. Castor went out on his morning walk. He saw it and almost fainted in surprise. What is it? Mr. Castor said frantically. The small unicorn trotted up and and started rubbing on him. He was startled at first, but then realized he was friendly. I can't believe I didn't believe in you, he said softly to the unicorn. Suddenly, Mr. Castor thought of something. What is your name? He asked the unicorn. The unicorn did not respond, but whinnied softly. Then I guess I'll have to make up a name for you. How about Cloud? The unicorn liked this very much. So Cloud it is. Cloud's head and ears suddenly perked up and she bolted, with Mr. Castor close behind. They ran through forests and mountains before they got to where Cloud wanted. When she finally stopped, Mr. Castor was red and out of breath. Cloud had heard her mother. Cloud walked gradually into the clearing. She heard a loud roar. It was close, a lion. The small unicorn ran into a waterfall, and when she got to the other side, there was a whole meadow full of unicorns. Cloud ran up to one that looked like her, but bigger. It must be her mother, Mr. Castor said. For a few minutes, Mr. Castor walked around letting the unicorns get comfortable with him. He stayed with the unicorns for a long time. One day, he got homesick. He had almost forgot about the little house on the hill. He asked Cloud if she could take him back. Cloud said it would be dangerous, but anything for a friend. So Cloud set out with Mr. Castor. On her back, they ran for miles and miles until they got to the little old house. Cloud looked sad. Mr. Castor didn't notice at first, but then realized, Hey Cloud, I know you're sad, but I can't stay with you. But you can visit any time. The unicorn whinnied softly and trotted slowly off into the night.